Hello friends, uh, welcome to AWS Tech Talk uh, YouTube channel. In this episode, uh, we will see how can we uh, install uh, rather intricate uh, AWS SDK in Eclipse ID, right? So for that, uh, you need to uh, have you need to install Eclipse uh, ID in your laptop. So I've already installed it. Uh, I'll show you the version. Uh, my version is 2022-06. I've installed it for uh, ID for Java developers. You may choose uh, any other uh, ID, Eclipse ID, right? So uh, as per your choice, uh, you may want to install this Eclipse ID. So there are a couple of steps by which uh, we can integrate this AWS SDK. So first would be uh, what you do, uh, uh, click on uh, help, click on Eclipse marketplace. So uh, we will uh, install this toolkit from open internet. Make sure your machine is connected to internet and uh, you are into a pretty uh, like your net connection is uh, is good in good condition right uh, because we are going to download uh, toolkit from uh, open internet right so once you uh, click on eclipse marketplace uh, window will get open with some information under find uh, type aws and then uh, click press enter so once you uh, type aws uh, press enter you will see a aws toolkit for eclipse and uh, in, in my case it is uh, it is saying install because I have already installed it but uh, when you install it first time uh, you will see install button enabled here the way uh, I see for some other uh, SDK and click on install and then uh, your toolkit of for Eclipse 2.0 will get installed successfully. Let me uh, close this window and then uh, the second point would be you need to uh, configure the security credentials. So uh, this will be under window preferences and uh, and the toolkit so uh, since I have uh, previously created uh, some user so uh, what I'll do I'll just show you the I will create a new user and then uh, we'll, we'll see how can we uh, configure the security credentials in a, uh, Eclipse ID so for that you need to log into your uh, console account AWS console and uh, type IM under search bar right uh, under IAM once you click on IAM you will be into IAM dashboard and then in IAM dashboard the left side uh, click on users and click on add user so uh, we'll create a, a new user with uh, uh, with some uh, S3 uh, full access so uh, I'm, I'm, I wanted to uh, access this S3 services uh, from uh, from my job, uh, Eclipse ID, so for that uh, I'll just give a uh, name as S3 use, uh, username, anything you can choose. Make sure uh, you click on access key, right? Since uh, we wanted to uh, access these services from Eclipse ID, right? So I'm just creating a user which will uh, by which I'll be able to access this S3 uh, services from my Eclipse ID, right? So click on next permissions. Now what I'll do, um, I'll just attach a policy. So just click on attach existing policies. You may see <coughs> many more policies and uh, let let us try to see for S3. So uh, what I did, I just typed S3. Here I see uh, Amazon S3 full access. So I'll have, I'll check, I'll check Amazon S3 full access. Next tags. I'll not give uh, add tags since it's optional. I'm not giving anything click on review so s3 user with amazon s3 full access policy being attached to this user create user so once you create a user a uh, user will be uh, created you may want to download this csv file or else you may want to copy this access key id so i'm just copying it this access key id and secret access key in separate notepad and we will configure the same in our eclipse id so what i have done i've just copied the access key I'll copy this uh, secret access key as well in my notepad, right? Uh, I'll just close it. I'll go to my Eclipse ID. Again, I'll click on window, preferences. I'll select, make sure you have AWS, AWS toolkit. You will be having AWS toolkit only when you have installed this toolkit, right? Previously. So since we have already installed it, we see this option and we'll just uh, replace this uh, secret key first and then uh, I'll just replace this access key ID apply and close so this way uh, we have uh, installed this ID rather SDK 
in our Eclipse ID and we have also configured a, a user uh, by which uh, we will be able to access this S3 uh, services. So uh, in my next video I will show you how to create a small uh, program uh, using Java and uh, we will see how to create a bucket in S3. Right? So that's it for uh, today. Thank you.